Yo, what's going on everyone? Miles Medoria here with the recap and review of My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 4. Towards the beginning of the episode, we see Hawks talking to Dobby. He says to him, is that the face of someone who just lost a friend? And he replied to him that his tear glands were burnt. But mostly what he cared about was Twice's quirk. Because he was going to help him achieve his dream. Twice did say that before, that his quirk helps other people's dreams. But what about him and what about what he wanted? Hawks mentioned that he tried to look up personal history on Shigaraki and him, but he couldn't find anything. He says, who are you? He mouths the name and Hawks looks surprised. We all know what that name could be. Dobby goes on about how there's no such thing as real heroes. You just haven't met him yet. Get rid of the fakes. He will carry out Stain's will, and it seems like he has gotten rid of Hawks, but we'll see about that later throughout the season. As we know, Miracle's been fighting some of the high ends, so she's about to get back up. Endeavor's on his way. He runs into Crush and others in the hallway. Eraser heads with him. He uses his quirk. Endeavor goes in for the punch, and Crush tells him that he'll push them out. I'm glad they're going to go help her because these past few episodes that show Miracle have been going in. She done lost her arm, got damaged, but she's still trying to complete her mission. Then the scene goes to Miracle. She's battling it out with the high ends and she says that she can't get any more hits on them. It's not that she's getting weaker. She knows her own body, but they have awakened. The choice she makes this time is just to go straight to Garaki and Shigaraki. Once the high end see this, they turn around and attack her, but she does not stop. She keeps going. She says it's easier to focus on running, and if she gets taken out, she'll get taken out after she achieves her goal first. She gets to both of them, and she goes for the kick of the capsule that Shigaraki's in, but one of the high ends actually clips her shoulder into her leg. Like, she is taking so much damage in these episodes. This character deserves all the appreciation. She keeps going no matter what. That's when Endeavor arrives, punching the high end to the ground. Miracle manages to actually kick the capsule. Back to the other room, we see one of the high ends is thinking about the different hero's quirks, and she realizes that she can't use hers because Eraserhead is there. The high end is wondering what conditions need to be met for him to activate it, and notices that he's hiding his eyes, that he needs to see her to activate it, and is trying to figure out how it could be deactivated. Eraserhead is catching on, saying did the high end figure out the requirements for his quirk. As they continue fighting, we see Miracle get attacked again as she cracks the glass to Shigaraki's capsule. Them high ends is pretty smart, so they catching on pretty quickly. Miriko did get blasted back, Endeavor catches her, and he uses some of his power on some of her wounds. All of a sudden, a high end pops up, and man, at least can she get healed first. She did get in contact with the others, letting them know that Shigaraki's in some kind of capsule, and that the capsule is probably an activation device. The no moves started moving when electricity went through them, so do not wake up Shigaraki. In the next scene, we see Garaki. He's saying that he has to wake up Shigaraki before the solution leaks out. He presses the button, but Mike uses his voice and destroys the capsule. Then Mike punches Garaki just to see if he's the real one, which he is. They check on Shigaraki. Garaki says he's in a suspended animation to reduce the burden on his body during the transfer, and that the receptacle is to accelerate and maintain the transfer. And also contains a device to revive him. Mike picks up Garaki and takes off and leaves Exilus with Shigaraki. Mike and Garaki have a little chat. He brings up that his quirk life force gives him the ability to live twice as long as a normal person in exchange for athletic ability. They be having some interesting quirks. That is the quirk that he gave all for one and the quirk that Garaki has now is a duplicate of his original one. My bad if I mess his name up, but he asked him, is he Kurogiri's friend? And that back then, they really wanted a racer head. That makes you wonder, how would this evolve when if they did take a racer head? And that's disrespectful to bring that up because that is that man's friend and he won't be the same again. Moving along to Shigaraki, he's in his mind and we get a glimpse into his past. His sister's talking to him and she shows him a picture of their father and grandmother saying that it's a secret when she showed him. Next was his mother asking if he still wanted to be a hero. His father yelling at him asking if he was the one that went into his study and all of a sudden we see All For One. On the outside, Garaki's telling Mike All For One entrusted everything to his successor. He decided to pass his quirk on to him and kept a duplicate of his quirk. Yeah, everybody making sure they maintain their power though. We see Shigaraki walking towards One For All. Everyone one grabs onto him and you hear his sister's words let's become sibling heroes but he crushes his dad's hands and all those around him disappear shigaraki wakes up and that's where the episode ends you know it kind of is some what ifs in this episode if you think about it in a different way what if the villains did take eraser head how would situations turn out also, what if Shigaraki would have been a hero instead of a villain? Overall, I thought it was a good episode. Miriko is a champ, someone who keeps fighting until her mission is done. This hero definitely deserves her spot as one of the top heroes. Also, getting a glimpse of some memories from Shigaraki's past. It looks to be a wild episode next week, so can't wait to check it out. Comment below, what did you think of the episode, and what was your favorite part from it? Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.